All right, how's it going? Welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. Now, once again, I never thought I'd be saying this, but unfortunately, the most problematic people keep returning like the C virus. And who could I possibly be talking about? Oh boy, lovely peaches. <laughs> Great. Not even God can help us now. I mean, you think 2020 is bad enough, but then you realize maybe this is the end of the world. Lovely Peaches, an influencer who is a big fan of creating a mass amount of controversy for self gain. But unfortunately, she does keep causing problems, and I can honestly keep myself from sitting here and complaining. If any of you pricks are brave enough, then you can call me a middle aged Karen down in the comment section. But I can't promise that I won't call the police and tell them you're harassing me online. But lovely peaches, let me give you some context. Because without context, there is no understanding. She's an Instagram influencer who used to have a big account on Instagram, but unfortunately got terminated. Unfortunately, I say. But now she does in fact have a new Instagram with 126,000 followers. Now again, this account was removed by Instagram, but unfortunately Instagram thought that, hey, the world needs to see lovely peaches. So they reinstated her account. I, I don't have a clue. And you're probably wondering what kind of content does she post on there to accumulate this amount of followers, you might ask. Well, a lot of shit. Literally. When she was up and coming, she'd do a lot of live Instagram videos pretending to have arguments with herself and beating herself. <laughs> God damn, I haven't seen this much beating since I realized that my penis rises with a simple rub. 15 times in one day is my personal record. Oh, I'm such a chad. Fucking me! Uh, apparently that's comedy in 2020. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I will off myself this year. She would also do Instagram lives as well where she would choke her boyfriend out in porn. And that's bad enough. <laughs> What's wrong? You okay? You okay? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I mean, what am I supposed to say? I can only imagine this is what hell is like when you're transitioning from the real life on earth to hell. A big woman chokes you out. But I don't understand why someone would post something like this. This is literally physical abuse at its finest. Get out of there, bro. Because it's only gonna get worse. Yes. Oh yes. Oh very well, yes. It does indeed. From cavemen who survived only the most brutal environments to now people who eat shit. This is creating controversy for self-gain. And oh boy. It's quite the controversy, isn't it? But you think she's bad now, but wait until you hear this. So she has a child called Cora. Not only did she pretend to be abusing Cora by breaking her arm, etc. She also pretended that she would sell her child to older, hornier men. And after that, she apparently, uh, killed her. Yes, I did just say that. She apparently killed her. <laughs> Get phone down, bitch. But not only that, this is on a side note for this, she would also post videos of her mourning randomly. Hi, Daddy. Picture you come home and you see this. <coughs> when I've seen you eat shit, I can't really find that sexy, I can't lie. I feel like she doesn't wash. Um, is that bad to say? <laughs> if I was a man that was about to have sexual intercourse, perhaps anal, with lovely peaches, um, I think it'd be like, something like this. <sighs> Stinky! That's right, everyone. She shit herself as I was trying to do intercourse. Why am I talking about having sex with lovely peaches? There's, um... <laughs> 
I don't know what to say. Yeah. Listen, this wasn't this wasn't a part of the script, all right? I just sometimes go off by myself, and for that, I am truly sorry. But how fucked up I may be, the truth is that she didn't even have custody to her daughter in the first place. What the fuck was the point in that? So she did indeed make all this up for financial controversy gain. She pushed this narrative all across the internet and watched millions and millions of views accumulate from each video. She sat there on her throne and watched her self-made story come to life, being selfish, arrogant, and also extremely toxic. Toxic. And toxic, ladies and gentlemen, is probably an excellent word for this woman. She faked all those things about her child. And for what reason? Huh? What the fuck was the point in that, you fucking prick? When I tell you I'm exhausted, it means I can't even masturbate. And us men know we can do that at our weakest moments. Like when we can't stop looking at big bums on the internet. I didn't choose to be weak for that. Sorry, baby, but I was born this way. But I don't use my magic wand just so they can grow up and see lovely peaches twerking in front of us while we eat McDonald's as a family. Seriously, is it necessary? That laugh was also very demonic. Uh, it's as if she enjoyed it. Stand back, you foul beast! You think it's bad enough, but I've got to sit here and explain it to thousands of people. Uh, sorry, Nana, but no more Christmas dinners. Speaking of food, I don't think I can ever look at a can of peaches the same ever again. Then, of course, after all the damage that has been done, she decides to intimidate the biggest TikTok star in the world, Charlie D'Amelio. This girl is only 16 and Peaches joined her live to say extremely sexual things towards her, even claiming that she has sent a man to Charlie's house to rape her. This woman is off her fucking rockers! <laughs> but how all that's been covered? Let's talk about the real shit. I'm moving house again. Yep, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I want to hear all the celebrations down in the comment section. <laughs> no one wants me anymore. <laughs> Honestly, that is just the depressing truth about it. No one wants to live with me. Apparently, everyone says I'm too loud and, uh... I don't have a fucking clue what they're all about! But listen everyone, I have a channel membership, you can join it right now if you want, and what happens is, you get a video one day early before everyone else, and it's really gonna support me to move out and allow me to get my things from my place that I need, because it's not a furnished place. There's no, uh, sofa, or, uh, beds, or TV stand, fridge, microwave, there's, there's nothing there, um, so I need your help. I'll drink to that. But you signing up would make everything worth it. Me sitting here doing videos, it makes it all worth it. It's like a Patreon, but it's not a Patreon. It's uh, a YouTube membership. It's very different. <laughs> it's not. But now that we've been through all the shit and, oh, you know, ah, I'm so excited for the next bit. Let's, um, let's uh, talk about this monstrosity further. Uh, let's head to Mr. Exposed. Hi, Good evening, my name is Mr. Expose, and this is what I expose these hoes! But straight to the point, lovely peaches jumping on the offensive, I see. But what might this be? What we are looking at, ladies and gentlemen, is lovely Peaches going to knock on the door of Daniel Bregoli's house, aka Bad Baby. However, Peaches claims that she was a fan. However, this was indeed deemed to be wrong. She was definitely not a fan. The audacity to knock on someone's house pretending you are a fan. You walk around as if you can do anything. You stroll down the path as if you own the world, when you do not. This is my world. 
and you're just living in it. But this isn't the first time, ladies and gentlemen, lovely Peaches has visited someone's home. She also visited Charlie D'Amelio's home a few months ago. He posted a live on the internet for everyone to see just to intimidate Charlie D'Amelio. Keeping in mind this girl is only 16, she is a TikTok star. She is just growing up herself to become an adult. What more could you ask for than lovely Peaches trying to destroy the memories of your childhood? I mean, lovely Peaches, do you honestly believe this is talent? She thinks she is a cougar prowling the night, but really, she is just a confused hippo waiting to be thrown into a cage. She believes the law doesn't apply to her, ignores violation of privacy. She also joined Charlie D'Amelio's livestream once again and just struck terror into the poor girl. She started typing sexual things again as if she's queen. But you're not. There's only one royalty in this world. Me. I am king. That was a bit far. Might stop sucking on my cock before it's too late. In moons, but... Um... 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 <laughs> okay. You can see the terror on Charlie's face, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely Peaches is an animal of this world. If I had a blowtorch... Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot stare at this massive fucking hippo anymore. And that's not an insult for her weight, right? She's just a fucking wild animal. If you did uh, enjoy this video, then leave a like, of course. And do me a favor, comment down below what you think of Lovely Peaches. I want to read your comments and your opinions. And also be sure to follow the Instagram and Twitter for updates when I'm posting videos. You'll be the first to know, I can assure it. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, peace. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.